Hey Akko, I quit WoW. I'm looking for a new game for casual playing. Can you sell me Final Fantasy XIV? I know nothing about it. Um, I can sell you on it. The the thing is, so it's it's not going to be for everyone. Yeah, not everyone's going to play Final Fantasy and absolutely love it. I have fallen in love with that game. Uh, just yesterday, I went to the Golden Saucer, my second time ever. I bought my fifth ever sort of jack uh, lottery ticket, and I won 10,000 uh, currency. I, I won the jackpot with one of my lottery tickets. So, I mean, I'm literally logging into the game when I'm not streaming to gamble, right? Because I, I, I don't know. I'm just finding the game incredibly fun. Um... For those of you that don't know what the Golden Saucer is, it's like this um, giant area filled with mini games. It's just mini games, like games for everyone. And you can go in there and you can basically entertain yourself with whatever you want to do. I'll say if you care about story and you care specifically about lore and more specifically, you care about um, the, the telling of great stories then you will love Shadowlands. Uh, not Shadowlands. Then you will love Final Fantasy. The way they tell their story, the way they guide you through that story is absolutely incredible. It goes above and beyond anything that you could even imagine from a normal MMORPG. The vast majority of MMORPGs really treat their story as sort of a second-hand case. In Final Fantasy, it's front and center. As for classes or jobs, you have so much freedom in job selection that you can literally be every job in the game and have fun with whichever one of those since you have you only ever need one class or one race and you can have all the jobs on one race. I love the playstyle. I will, however, say before we get into, like, while I'm trying to sell you, I'd also like to warn you or caution you the gameplay at the beginning fucking blows. It, it's absolutely horrible at the start, but it gets very fucking good. Sort of around level 40, I'd say, is where it really starts to feel nice to play Final Fantasy. Not great yet, I'm told by people in stream that it actually really gets good at level 70. But again, this could be because they're at level 70 already, so they know the difference between 70 and 40. But if all you have is a baseline of level 50, as I am right now, then it's fucking brilliant. It's, it's leaps and bounds better than what it started as. Um, especially when you get to some of the harder bosses uh, and dungeons and stuff. That is just... Um, it, it's, it, it's an incredible game. Definitely worth playing, in my opinion. Definitely worth trying, in my opinion. Um, considering the fact that it's free... I think this is actually the, the best selling point I have for you on this. The game is free to play. Up until level 60, you don't have to pay anything. So just try it out. If you don't like it, just, yeah, leave. You don't have to keep playing. Playing. No one needs to pay. You don't have to pay a cent. You can just play it and see right? if it is your cup of tea. And if it is, hey, welcome to the fucking club. You're now part of the Final Fantasy crowd. If it isn't, then you go find something else to play. It's very difficult to sell anyone on anything, right? Um, it, yeah, it, you can't really sell a game to people that way. I can give you my first impressions, but that's really it. And my first impressions is it's amazing. It's a fucking brilliant game. Worth trying. 